What is up everybody? My name is Justin, this is Forever Self-Employed, all about pressure washing and quote IQ. And in today's video, we're going to be reacting to TikTok influencers business advice and uh, telling you guys whether or not it is uh, legitimate. If you guys need help keeping up with customers, sending estimates, invoices, or collecting payments, you can do all that for free using Quote IQ, which you can download on the App Store and Google Play Store, as well as if you want to try any of our paid tiers of Quote IQ, you can do that at myquoteiq.com. Uh, like I said, Quote IQ helps you to quote, schedule, and then get paid. Uh, some of our paid features that you got you could try for a dollar is Insta Quote, Insta Schedule, so your customers can quote themselves and schedule themselves. You also get our pre-inspection forms, dashboard analytics, review multiplier, which is free on every account, Map Measure Pro, as well as much, much more. So if you guys haven't checked out Quote IQ already, it'll be linked up in the comment section and the description. But with all that being said, Mike, I think we're ready to jump into today's video, huh? Let's jump right in. This video, Mike, is the most undersold upsell for pressure washing. Or is it okay? Because I've never heard anyone ever offer this service before. So we're gonna be okay, taking a look at it. Wait. Let's watch it. I'm out here standing in the rain giving you guys free game right now. What's one thing you never see people cleaning? That's right. You don't never see people cleaning AC units. And it's important to do it, especially in the summertime, because you wanna this thing's running all the time in the summertime. So you wanna keep all the debris or the dirt, all the loose stuff, pollen, you wanna keep all that stuff off of this. So you're gonna get you some simple green and a spray bottle. You can get it at Lowe's for like 15 bucks, both of them. Okay, Mike, before we get into too deep into this, I, I wanna know your thoughts. First and foremost, he said he's out here standing in the rain giving us free game. So what do you think about cleaning AC, uh, basically ACs? Okay, so we'll see where he goes with this. First of all, um, this guy is great. He's got a TikTok channel called Upcharge or something. and, and 90% of what he does, it's just funny. And he's just trolling people and does all kinds of shit to um, like piss people off. And like, I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, they said they needed to get their pressure wash of the, the concrete on their driveway, but I'm going to go ahead and up some on a whole new concrete driveway. So we're going to break it up. We're going to lay concrete down. And, and now I'm going to charge them $22,000 for this. And uh, yeah, they, they wanted a hundred dollar driveway cleaning. I upcharge them. 2000, you know, like craziness. So he's, he's, he's trolling. Um, but what he is showing is actually, it, it's something that, that can be done. It's something that you need to be very cautious about because the fins on AC units can be damaged, but those fins, they do need to be clean. Would I suggest doing it with a pressure washer? Probably not unless you're, you know, using a low pressure tip, you're standing far away. You're being very cognizant of not damaging any of the components inside, uh, bending up the fins because those fins, and if you've, I'm sure people have seen what's inside of these things. They're very small metal fin fins. I think they're aluminum, probably something like that. But that's the cooling surface. And so when you start bending that, it impacts how your AC is going to uh, perform. So they do have to be cleaned so they can perform better. But if you damage them, that's not a good thing either. So let's see what this guy's doing. Okay. So do you think he's trolling right now, then, Mike, or what? Yeah, yeah. When you hear the price, you think you're really going to know he's trolling. Right here, fill it up. 20 ounces of water, two ounces of simple green. There's instructions on the back how to dilute it. What you're gonna do is you're gonna spray the outside of the unit. Spray it real good. Let it soak in for like 15 minutes and you're gonna get your water hose and you're gonna rinse it off. If you do pressure- A good, a, a good um, you know, litmus test for if somebody's pranking you or not uh, with regards to service providers um offering different services is what chemical they use like no real service provider is really going to ever recommend you guys use a chemical that's like uh, consumer grade typically wouldn't you say so mike i feel like every chemical like like in pressure washing right we would never recommend you go into into home depot and buy a zep like there's better chemicals that are more you know for right. professional companies so anyway i just thought i'd mention that Washing this right here is a good upcharge. Ain't nobody out here cleaning AC units, guys. And most HVAC companies, I looked it up. On average, they charge like $300 to do a simple service like this. And pretty much this is all they're going to do to it. So what you're going to do if you're in high school or you just want to make some extra money, go out and sell this, man. Sell yourself. Do this. Easy money. You can charge 25 to 30 bucks per AC unit. And it's recommended in the summertime when it's hot outside to clean your unit at least once or twice every other month. So you could have repeat customers to do this. So you could technically do this at each house three times a year. That's extra money, man, in your pocket. I'm out here upcharging, giving you. 
Okay. <laughs> I like, like the way, and I have no experience with anything with regards to this guy. Yeah, so that price honestly is not bad. $25, $30 per unit. If you are pressure washing, okay. I think Miguel is, my guy is out doing the yard. Um, okay. $25 to $30 for this is, I think it's a, I think it's a great upsell. And I think it, he's absolutely right. It's something that a lot of people aren't doing. So I would highly suggest add this, right. And you, you know, simple green, all that is, is a degreaser. Um, I would probably do a little bit of research and find out what the manufacturers of the AC units are suggesting as far as cleaning, because you don't want to spray something in there that can damage electrical components or anything else. Right. And so I'd, I'd look into that first, but by all means, and, and he's right there, it, it is recommended that you service these things. And, you know, when he said the people will come out, the AC companies and do a $300 service, they're going to charge you, you know, whatever the price is, but it's not just for spraying some simple green. I mean, they're going to get in there. They're going to look at the condensers and they're going to look at other things, but this guy is on point. I think it's a great upsell. If you guys are not aware uh, right now on the resource page, 50% off every single product. All you got to do is use code USA at checkout. This little pop-up is perfect to remind you. So if you're interested in how to wash local domination, uh, one and two, my Facebook ad strategy, how to stripe, how to quote, how to go scale to the next level, Christmas lighting course. We literally have everything here for you guys. We have all the business assets, uh, customer contracts, before and after photo packs. Anything that you need in order to run your business is most likely on this page. So we're going to take a look at a, a video from Alex Ramosi. And Alex Ramosi basically criticizes two local businesses in this video. And personally, I don't think that he's right for it. But first and foremost, we're going to watch it. And then we're going to jump into it. Big Alex Ramosi. So this will be interesting. I've got both of his, his books. Amazing. Okay. And Alex makes great content. Like he's been making content for a very long time. He does a great job. On this one though, uh, I don't know. So let's jump right into it. Top reviews, called them up and this Layla and I were traveling the other day and she wanted to get her nails done or something. So she just pulled up Yelp and looked at the one that had the top reviews, called them up and they said, oh, I'm sorry, we don't do same day appointments. We can book you in for two days from now. And she was like, yep, don't care. Called the next one, same thing, called the third one. And then they were like, yeah, we can take you right now. And boom, she went in. And the thing is, is that both of those other business owners that said no, lost money. And the next time she comes to that place, she'll probably go back to the one that she went to as long as they did a good job. And so trying to be egotistical about it rather than accommodate customers, it's like, well, we're so great. You just lose money. <laughs> okay, Mike, I'm gonna let you jump in here first because we do the same thing, right? Is there any pressure washing days where we're not booked up where we can take a pressure washing appointment immediately? Yeah. Absolutely, there are. So I don't think it's e it's not an egotistical thing at all. Alex, I think maybe off on this one. He's trying to create some content. I get it, but like, you know, if if the first two businesses had time and they could accommodate you, they're going to take it. Right? A policy is a policy only as long as you're not you know needing the money. And if you're not you know booked, you're gonna you're gonna book them. So those other people, those other companies, he said they're losing money as a result. They're not losing money because they're probably booked and they just can't. Or what's the option? Oh, uh, we're going to accommodate this person and bump somebody else. Well, then that person's not going to come back. So it's kind of like a, you know, it, it's a situation by situation thing. But like, I think most, I think most small businesses are very accommodating uh, as are most big businesses, because they understand that, you know, you got to have customers in order to make money. One of the funny things I think he said in the beginning was that she hopped on Yelp. I don't, I've never used Yelp personally. Mike, I don't, have you ever used Yelp for anything? Mike is actually muted. Okay, so. No, I've never used Yelp ever. 